Soft notes fingered on a bamboo flute at sunset, blown through a never-before gentleness. Breathe in, breathe out. Kitagwa is an idea that began before radio, before newsreels, before internet, before television. The Chautauqua movement was one way that rural America got news and information wherever people could convene and gather. We are nature. And we've known rivers. And still we rise against bitter, twisted lies, insisting on gathering fruit. And I am eager to hear your response to all that will be presented in the rich days of discourse and engagement that we can expect from this year's Taking Nature Black Conference. But there was also someone else in Brewer's Field. It was Broad Tiger, and he said, Wow! The conservation cause falls to common plight. The birds and I not only share same air, same water, same soil, same earth, but a shared struggle to make it from one day to the next. We share the same fate. At the well, we're using food and physical wellness as an entry point to talk about all the things that are gonna make us better as a community. As we went through that narrative of, uh, of the enslavement and walking, in the vein of renewal and in the vein of restoration, we walked that space and came to reclaim it in a way. A major goal of 20 and Odd was to really connect a new audience and trying to stress that you have roots here, you have space here, all that you are is also connected to this place. The environmental movement is built on structures of racism that continues to this day and they have to be dismantled. The other thing that we have to do is encourage other people, especially our elected officials, to listen. And listening doesn't mean having a town hall meeting where the elected officials get to pick who shows up. I think over the past two summers, we've seen many, many, many citizens of this country below the, the age of 24 speak about this democracy, speak about their relation to other people in their communities, and speak about the globe. We are in a partnership with our government and will only do for us what we demand rigorously and regularly. And the rule of thumb for my days as a lobbyist is that if you're quiet, everybody thinks you're happy. Fight for what you believe in and show up and march in the streets because you can build the best policy in the world, but if there's no political cover for it, it just doesn't happen. I'm not swayed by any arguments if people are coming forward to say, it's not going to happen in the next five minutes and therefore why bother? So I do think that voting is important, but it's also paying attention to where the money is going. I'm really in this mindset now of looking at therapeutic stewardship. You know, I, I have this vision for how can we get these fellas trained up as volunteers to come over and work off some of their steam, to come over and just be in a safe space. Because some, some of those fellas in that group don't always want to be out there. You know, they would love to be somewhere else and need somewhere to be. So how can parks also be a safe haven and a spiritual workout space for people that are stressed? You know, Penn Creek has become a very Googleable place. It's a place where local leaders can no longer uh, neglect, ignore, or just egregiously assault the way that they have for decades and decades because somebody's going to hear about it. This forestry hip hop in different forms we dialogue and debate. In forestry hip hop, you can't own what you didn't create. In forestry hip hop, respect life because life is a value. We listen, then discuss problem solving, then we add you. Dig deeper into yourself because many of the answers that we need are right inside. And I think that's what's driving them to to want to be a part of environmental work and jump into these environmental sciences and say, what can we do? We, we're seeing it, what, do you, what can we do? We need to do something now. There's a stigma and misunderstanding around the agricultural fields, particularly for black and brown people. Uh, there's deep stories and relationships that connect directly to racism and slavery. And it's important to elevate the agricultural and environmental fields as respected fields. You know, like I tell young people all the time, you know, agriculture is the mother of all sciences. Every science is in agriculture. 
in Oxen Run Park. We've got this beautiful sort of a mini forest. And you guys, I am just so thrilled to see all these little kids. We have a wiggle into spring where we're gonna teach the kids about worms. And so Brenda knows what her community needs and what her community wants. We have to meet the community where they are. We have to go in and we have to gain trust. We don't come in trusted just because we have a, a polo on with a crest in the corner of it. We need to go in and we need to find the Brenda Richardses and have a lot of conversations before she's ready to introduce us to her community. Every time I enter the woods, I know that my ancestors are with me. I know that I carry the trauma and their triumphs that they experienced in the forest. We have more work to do, my friends. We can build a just and clean economy that creates high paying, living wage union jobs while tackling the climate crisis and addressing our legacy of environmental injustice. And each one of us has a part to play. Rather than having become a right and an entitlement, a clean environment has actually become a commodity. And as a result, most of us buy, acquire, inherit, however we get it, the very best and highest environmental quality we can afford. Race and class, you know, actually do influence the kind of air you're likely to breathe, the likelihood that you'll have clean water. Sometimes I do think we need to be braver in acknowledging that there, there are systemic problems which aren't simply solved by uh, recruiting more people in, that there should be space for us to have a conversation um, about some of the dynamics that have become generational and instituted. ticket to Mars. This is your work. Uh, it'll get a lot easier if more of us get into it. So jump in this ditch.